Hello, my name's Guy Atkins and this is my video blog for Stamp and Coin Mart magazine. Over the last few years I've been looking at the history of postcards and one of the most interesting aspects of my research has been looking at the number of artists that have engaged with the form of the postcard. At the moment the likes of Gilbert and George, Rachel Whiteread and Susan Hiller all use postcards in their work. But looking back, it was probably the Surrealist movement that was most obsessed with the postcard. So the likes of Dali, Magritte, and the poets, André Breton and Paul Eluard, all used postcards to inspire their work. Of the Surrealist, it was probably Paul Eluard that was the most avid collector. Apparently by the time he died, he had a collection of about 5,000 postcards the first of which were given to him by the writer uh, André Breton. When you look at what Eluard wrote about in terms of um, postcards, he was most interested in the imagery on the postcards and how it seemed to reveal for him um, the psyche of uh, the different um, populations that used postcards. So. What he enjoyed doing was looking for hidden messages in the different types of postcards that were on sale. When he bought his postcards and took them back to his flat, he would spend hours arranging the postcards in order to create some kind of poem, um, an album poem, that would reveal something of the subconscious mind of, of, of um, of Paris, which was where, where he was living. There are some amazing phrases in Elwad's work around postcards that I think are still, still have a resonance today, certainly in the, the way that you go about collecting postcards. Probably the best quote is in his essay, Les plus belles cartes postales, where he writes that, ordered up by the exploiters to distract the exploited, Postcards do not constitute a popular art, at most they are the small change left over from art and poetry, but this small change sometimes suggests the idea of gold. But there's no doubt that Elwad valued them as much as, as gold. In fact, on one occasion, apparently he traded um, a painting by Dali for 200 postcards uh, that he was after. But there's a sting in the tail because, and perhaps it was his postcard collecting that got in the way of the relationship, but in the end his wife, Gala, traded him for Dali and left him in 1929 and in 1932 the separation became permanent. But that didn't stop Elwad sending lots of postcards to Gala after they'd separated. But I don't know. When you look at the postcards that he collected, which were pretty much all of beautiful women or around the theme of femininity, there's no wonder in some ways that Gala wasn't won over to return to him. If you want to know more about Surrealists and how they used postcards, then I really recommend looking up the thesis by Elizabeth Huyer, H-E-U-E-R, who's an academic in Florida. It's a really, really good read. Okay, until next time.